one of the dilemmas of a new EV owner is, can I charge my battery to 100%? And if so, how often? Um, how do I look after my battery to make it last longer? These are lots of questions and there's not a lot of information around. So this video is made for um, Atto 3 owners um, to help them understand um, their battery, particularly cell balancing. Do I charge to 100%? Do I stop at 80%? What does the manual say? Not a lot. How to manage my battery for maximum health and to prolong its useful life. Knowing more about um, EV batteries uh, will help owners understand their vehicle. Okay, let's get started. There are two battery types and they have competing likes and dislikes and requirements. There's a lithium ion and there's a lithium ion phosphate. Note the different spelling in ion. A lithium ion as in an atom and lithium ion phosphate as in an iron bar. Lithium ion charging above 80% is not encouraged. Using below 20% is not recommended. A lithium iron phosphate, there's no issue in charging to 100% and there's no real issue in using too low state of charge. So it depends on which vehicle you have or which, ve which battery your vehicle has as to how to, you should manage the battery. Vehicles with lithium ion batteries include the Nissan LEAF, the Polestar 2, uh, Tesla X and S and some 3s and Ys. Lithium ion phosphate uh, vehicles include the, the Atto 3 and the Chinese factory made uh, Ys and 3s. So these vehicles have totally different battery management requirements. What's good for some is bad for others. I read on a um, Facebook page the other day by an EV user um, and he asked the question, does this happen to you? My battery reported 15% and I had 15 kilometres to a charging station. With 5 kilometres to go, my battery died. Why? Well, I have the answer to that. The cells in the battery had different state of charge, SOC. It was not balanced. A major battery management function is cell balancing. What is cell balancing? Cell management, and, and in particular balancing, um, is extremely important for the life of the battery and also its usefulness. A battery is made up of multiple cells. When all the cells are exactly the same charge, it is said to be balanced. A battery usually reports that it's 100% full when one of its cells are 100%. All the others could be at all different levels, but the battery reports 100%. Equally, a battery reports that it's at 0% when one of its cells become, goes to 0%. So how can it be that my battery uh, reports that I've got 15% left and, and within a few kilometres it's completely out? Well, that depends on how the battery management system reports its state of charge. In this case, it's reporting a state of charge of 15, which is the highest charge of a particular cell, where in fact the actual charge of an average of all the cells is 11%. And the battery goes flat after it has used 11%. Where on the other hand, if the battery um, reports empty when the first cell is empty, then in this case it would be empty after 7%. So it does depend on how the battery reports. However, either way, it has all to do with cell balancing. Cell balancing ensures that each cell has the same charge. There's two means of balancing. One is top balance. It's done when the, ba uh, when the battery is full. And bottom balance, it's done when the battery is empty. 
EVs use the top balance method. What is top balancing? Without oversimplifying, it's when, when full, each cell is brought to 100%. There's two ways of doing it. One is passive and one is active. Um, it's beyond the scope of this video to discuss that. But it can only be done when the SATA charge moves to 100%. Yes, so to balance these cells, you must charge to 100%. You will notice that uh, the ATO3 actually does its balance, top balancing, and it does it when it moves from 99% to 100%. And you'll see down the bottom, instead of having a time, it has the word calculating. So I offer the following advice based on research that I've done. Um, can I charge to 100%? Yes, you can charge as often as you like, after every trip or after a few trips. Uh, DC or AC, um, either is okay. Um, but the ADO3 does prefer uh, cell balancing um, on AC. Um, if idle for a few weeks, um, consider um, balancing the cells before use by charging to 100%. So yes, you can charge at 100% as often as you like. The ADO3 battery is brilliant. Let's look at the closing stages of um, charging to 100% on the ADO3 and w when it does its uh, cell um, balancing. So you'll see here it just jumped to 99% with 8 minutes to go. And I've cut it now, so it's still at 99%, but it's 7 minutes to go. Now it's 99% with 6 minutes to go. Obviously I'm cutting this video so you don't have to wait all that time. Okay, now there's 5 minutes to go. But it's still reporting 99%. Now it said it's calculating. So it's finished. It's actually got the first cell to 100%. And now it's doing its cell balancing. So that takes a while. And bingo, here we are at 100%. We've got a completely charged um, at a 3 battery, all balanced. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please um, subscribe or like or share. Thank you.